hello friends today i'm going to show you how we need to track database level changes in microsoft sql server as part in part one i showed you how we uh, how we need do the same for instance level configuration changes for this this link is very very full it was written by the erin okay um, now uh, for this what we need to you need to copy this data uh, table uh, structure up to here here uh, don't forget there is no uh, here we uh, this table is started with begin so there is no end here so instead of go you have to return end here okay now you just uh, copy this up to here now what i'm going to i just uh, i'm copying this command just execute it is done now come down you need to create the cluster index okay and done it is done just close that now you need to uh, if i go here if i go here uh, as of now there is no data as of now there is no data right now if i click insert 12 rows got in affected okay now now if i do the same i got 12 records okay so now what i need to do here so if i go this microsoft uh, sorry this sql performance link to now come here check for here we have a one st uh, stored procedure you need to download the file and for that you need to execute this come stored procedures so it will detect the changes first we will show uh, we will download uh, that link as well so now this is the link you just call it uh, come here open new query and execute okay this, i think i already installed that uh, changes no problem i will uh, drop i will show you everything now i'm just clicking execute it is done okay so now what i'm going to i am having the baseline okay i'm having the data now what i will do i will go to the uh, loud database or like something i just for the dummy name i'm going to uh, like click on simple and i'm closing auto close i'm changing true false true false true so i have done these many one, one two three four five six at least i made five changes okay for this one database i'm just clicking okay okay so again now i need to insert the same data so so that it will track the changes that is done now we don't need to we have to configure every one hour like every one day so to prepare this to get this data you have to configure a job okay instead of doing this manually okay now if i copy this command open new query and you click execute see i got some changes has been happened on the uh, ninth id database what is the option here okay so is auto close original value is zero means uh zero change value is one what about other changes okay so here what i observed in this uh, script in this stored procedure means it will identify only the first value first value it will if i do bulk changes it will not reflect i'm not going to see in the stored procedure so something uh, it will recover and, and sometimes i see in the recovery as well if i do refresh it will gone okay so here it will record if i do the same thing uh, it, if i do n number of changes it will record only first change if i do do simple click okay now i am coming here i am inserting the data and i check the settings it will record only recovery model okay so it will record only one change the same thing for another database i am doing two changes i am changing sa i am coming here i am changing to bulk logged click ok now i have done come here same thing execute changes got executed now click execute now see 
the demo database here what it is saying it was a valor was changed now now go here properties something is here okay the original value from this other thing was changed so here we we got the information something was changed okay but uh, if i do bulk changes it is not showing one thing similarly i have done the same kind of same procedure with little bit difference okay now i'm just copying this command and coming here new query project i'm just adding two changes okay now click execute now what i'm doing the same data on the same table if i click here see in the demo database i will take this uh, for demo database what i have done owner owner sid it got changed every some original what is the original column what is the change to column for everything it will be there okay so if you have to clearly observe in this see recovery model what what the recovery model here 3 but it was changed to the 2 okay means we we came to know what is the original what is the value it is so this is the one of the store, uh, like uh, stored procedure i used to develop okay now so it is uh, just uh, what is the original value so uh, changed value so that uh, it been there uh, now if it is not changes otherwise you what we can do uh, if we can compare two columns if any they change or you can do that okay you can load this data into another simple table or you can filter as well so this is how you can track the changes what are happening at the database level so i'm going to give all these scripts and the link written by there in uh, you in the comment box and you can get it from there as well okay i hope uh, you may like my initiative thank you